We have, um, well, you have foreign companies that are here taking the water. They're taking advantage of the fact that there is lack of regulation here. Um, and they're mining our natural resource to grow crops such as alfalfa, for an example. And they're shipping it overseas back to their country where they've depleted their water source. I think that we need to we need to find out what we have, you know, underneath the ground. That's a start, and then we can go from there, and hopefully try to get everyone at the table to figure out some solutions to these areas that have um, no restrictions on them. Because you, we can't keep going the way that we are um, now that we're experiencing problems in these different areas. In uh, 1957, the water level below the surface where we're standing was 107 feet. So in other words, you drilled 107 feet to touch water. Uh, today, it's 542 feet. You can't control what you, can't, what you aren't measuring. So right now today, the state has absolutely no idea how much water is being pulled from the aquifer by the farms. In rural Arizona, basically, it, you know, it's the Wild West and it's subject to the law of the biggest well. So whoever has the biggest well and pumps the most groundwater wins. Uh, so it is, it is not regulated in any meaningful way. Growing crops out in rural Arizona is the basis of many economies and, and many people's livelihoods. And it is a, a valuable enterprise to the people who are engaged in it. So um, there's a trade-off involved with that. And, you know, I really think it's for those rural communities to come to that decision themselves. Um, they are the ones that if groundwater remains unregulated over time, they are the ones who will suffer the depletion. Uh, regulation can be a slippery slope if not done properly. I think looking at an area and seeing what water is there and then adjusting accordingly with the proper experts and the proper knowledge, not just shooting from the hip on a political reason, it may be an, uh, the proper way of doing it. Most farmers wanted to, want to protect what they have. They work so hard to build what they have. They want to protect it whatever they can. 
And for us, we make our living out of the ground, out of the water beneath it and out of the ground. If there's no water, there's no us. If there's no ground, there's no us.